Terrell Davis, Pro Football Hall of Famer here on the Rich Eisen Show. How do you think Melvin Gordon and Philip Lindsay are going to look like in the same offense? Uh, Gor- Melvin, Melvin said he 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 did not um, ask or know before signing uh, how how it's going to look. He, he he says he knows what the offense is, but he didn't ask directly like who's starting, how much is going to split up. How do you think that's going to wind up working in Denver? Yeah, well, I mean, I think if you know, bring a guy in, they sign him for a two-year deal. I believe it's around sixteen million. I believe. Yep. Um, you know that tells you that they're they <laughs> they're going to use them. Uh, and I look at uh, Melvin. I've watched him the last five years in San Diego slash L.A. And you know, I think the the Broncos feel like they can get more out of him. And I think he would agree that. He didn't, you know, he had the one year, he was over 1,000 yards. I know he had the two Pro Bowls. But as you watch him, you feel like, man, there's more there. There's something that's not been, that he's, he's got more than what he's showing you on the field. And I believe that's what John and Henry brought him in, that they feel like they can they can really maximize and get the most out of Melvin Gordon. And then you have Philip Lindsay, who's a different back altogether. And and Philip can, he can do everything. And I was, you know, I went back and was watching tape and, you know, Philip can run between the tackles. He, he's a run on the global line. But I think where he's really exceptional is when you talk about the, the sort of dump down, the unplanned screens or plays where a break, uh, play breaks down, and they find Philip for a dump off. And now he's in open space, and that's where he's really exciting. Um, and with Melvin, of course, you know, he's 215 pounds. He's going to be probably the guy they, they, they use on first and second down kind of wear defense out, you know, out between tackles. And he's got soft hands. He can catch the ball um, uh, uh, well. Um, so they, they've got two guys they can certainly use. I, and I, I would imagine it's probably Melvin getting, getting the majority of the, the carries or touches and then Phil kind of being that complimentary guy. But I did read something that Phillips said he's not going to sit there and let, yeah. you know, Melvin come in here and just take his job, man. He's going to fight for it. And he's crappy like that. So, <laughs> I think uh, people think that when you say that, that you mean you don't like the person coming in. No, that's just a competitor. Like he feels like when you bring somebody in, then I need to go ahead and step my game up to make sure that person doesn't get my job. 